Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna meet my friend and co-worker Bart later. He recently bought his first camera, which is the Sony a7 II with the kit lens, as well as the Filtrox 85 1.8. And I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of a challenge. He is somewhat new to photography. He's going to be using this camera for the first time, I believe. And we're going to take some pictures in his hometown, which is Urk. Later, I'm going to edit those pictures, put them side by side, and I'm going to let you guys decide which ones are his, which ones are mine, but most importantly, which ones are better. The pressure is definitely on me. Let's go. Can you feel it in the air? The clouds are rolling in It's a matter of time Dark skies and howling winds The sun is coming gone Wood stands will surely fall Chaos is coming Chaos is coming down I'm here with Bart Hey, hey guys He's just got his new camera What do you reckon? The Sony a7 II, we're gonna try some uh, photos, to shoot some photos, I should say. And uh, you're gonna re see the results very soon. You think you're gonna win or no? I'm not sure. I've seen some of his I photos. I've compete, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some of his photos and to be honest, I think he's doing very well. So, I'm, I'm a little bit scared, I must say. <laughs> you should be. I, I think he's gonna win a few at least. I'm ready to rumble. This is his home ground, you know. He's got the home ground advantage. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> Walking around for what? One and a half hours? Yes, we've been. Like how, ma how many pictures did you take? Let me see for a second. Oh, the camera was off. Oh, shit. At least you know how to turn it on. <laughs> 85? Yeah, it looks like he took about 85. Let me see. Uh, okay. Looks like I took more, about 100. But it's, quality it's, it's over quantity. I was right? gonna say, it's more, yeah, definitely quality over quantity. So, looks like he's gonna win today, I think. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna edit all of his pictures as well, so you can't see really, you know, who made which picture. You're gonna have to guess, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna win. Yes. I think local boy's got a shot. Good luck with guessing. I hope you choose the right one. <laughs> this place is basically known for its seafood, and we're having dinner. <laughs> Called your barbarics. Yeah, my tour guide decided to give me the local food. Hey guys, so it's the next day now. Um, we, me and Bart, we both selected 10 pictures so he sent in his 10 pictures earlier today and I spent some time editing both of the pictures or both sets of pictures so I edited mine as well as Bart's uh, just so that you can't differentiate them from each other and you don't know who made which picture hopefully um, so yeah let's see if you can uh, tell whether the picture was made by me or by Bart um, I suggest that we do somewhat of a competition. So what I would suggest is that in the comments you write down something like like this. So just write down 1 to 10 and then select either A or B for which picture you think is better. Um, and then we're going to see who wins this challenge. Now obviously I'm going to reveal who made which picture at the end of the video. But um, yeah, don't cheat. Don't look at the end before you judge your pictures and uh, let's see how we go. So before I show you the videos, I just wanted to say that I was actually pretty surprised by Bart's eye for photography because even though he's very new to photography I think he maybe went out actively to take pictures maybe twice I think he does definitely have an eye for photography there's some shots that he that I saw him taking which you know made me think like okay he's definitely looking for 
the right composition. So he's not just randomly taking pictures, but he's actively thinking inside his brain, like, okay, how's this gonna look? Which angle is gonna make the best composition? So definitely think he has some talent. And uh, I must say that I wouldn't be completely surprised if he ends up winning, winning this challenge. So um, yeah, pressure is on me. Let's see. Uh, let's start with picture number one and see which one you like better. Okay, so what I did is I uh, made 10 folders with two pictures in them. So one of them would be mine and one would be Bart's. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through the folders one by one and show the pictures to you and then you can judge which you prefer. So the first set of pictures are these two pictures. This one is of a monument uh, which represents a wife that looks out to sea waiting for their husband who is obviously making money at sea. Um, we went to this location and it's quite an impressive scene actually because you see all the, the writings on the wall. Basically they represent the people that died at sea so it's uh, quite an impressive scene to be honest. Me and Bart both took one picture there and um, yeah you see both of them side by side write down in the comments number one and then a or b whichever you, whichever you prefer i'm gonna be switching out the photos so but sometimes bart's picture is gonna be on the left and sometimes my picture is gonna be on the left and vice versa just so that you can't hopefully figure out whether it's always bart on one side or mine is always on one side so that's not gonna be the case but uh, let me know which one you like better out of these two so um second picture is of this guy who is obviously a local that there and um, I actually spotted this guy um, as we were walking and then I asked if we could take a couple of pictures. Me and Bart both took some pictures and these two were the result of that. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was actually up for the picture because at a certain point I thought he was kind of annoyed that we asked him but then again he is smiling in the picture so I always had an issue with asking people if I could take a picture but these days um, I don't really mind anymore so um, yeah I was glad that we asked him and that we could take some pictures. Let me know which picture you like best. Okay, so the third selection of pictures is, of, uh, is actually of the lighthouse, um, which is a famous landmark of the location there. We both took pictures around the area and uh, yeah, we ended up selecting these two images. Obviously there is a bit of a difference when you look at these two pictures. One chooses to have the uh, lighthouse in the background, whereas the other has it just as the main subject. When it comes to photography, we all look at things differently and it's very interesting to see what we choose when it comes to our creativity. And um, yeah, I'm interested to see which one of these you think is taken by me and more importantly, which one you think is better? Let us know in the comments below. So obviously because I didn't know which pictures Bart was gonna send in to me, uh, we had to kind of match, uh, match pictures up and see which picture would compete against which other picture. Some of them might have a completely different subject in the picture, but you're just gonna have to look at the picture individually and decide for yourself which one you think is better. So the fourth set of images are these two. On the, on the left hand side in this case we have this boat which seems to separate uh, between the boat itself and the trash on the side so I think that's a very nice composition. Uh, it has a nice contrast from the left to the right hand side uh, and on the other side we have the picture with the UK which I think is the ERC code I guess for the boats there UK 264 uh, in the foreground and in the background you have a picture of a boat on the shore as well which is nicely faded into the toner. Um, so yeah, look at these two pictures and which one do you think is best? That was picture number four and right now I'm gonna move to picture number five. Uh, again, a very different subject in the pictures. On the right hand side you see the Aussie, uh, which is I guess an Australian who moved to that area over there. Um, I actually lived in that part of Australia as well because I see the Western Bulldog flag from the team there. I think it's a rugby team from Perth, which is where I used to live so it's funny I kind of recognize that as well yeah you have that in the foreground and there's actually a boat in the background uh, so again making use of the low aperture of the lens just to clarify Bart was using an 85 f 1.8 lens uh, and to kind of simulate that I was using my 55 1.8 lens but in crop mode so that's that's close to being an 85 as well in that case so we wanted to make it a fair challenge and uh, yeah we try to match our lenses that way. The other picture is of a window where you can see dolls wearing 
what I believe is traditional clothing. Yeah, definitely something that's very specific to this area, I guess. So that's uh, pictures number five or set of pictures number five. Okay, so the sixth set of pictures is this one. These are probably two of my favorite pictures. On the left we have these plants uh, that are kind of cover covering up a road sign that's right behind it uh, in the in the in the bokeh you can say and with this editing I decided to play with it a little bit and just made the red circle of the road sign red and the rest is obviously black and white. Yeah, definitely shows what you can achieve with editing as well. Yeah like this picture. The other picture is actually of the lighthouse again but from a different angle this time bit of dike in the foreground but the lighthouse obviously sticking out there choose between the two which one do you like best i actually like both of these pictures quite a lot so uh, i think this is going to be the desire maybe so that's uh, pictures number six let's see and then number seven there's two different subjects again yeah one of them uh, you can see the the gear obviously used for one of the fishermen uh, this was actually uh, on the boat of bart's dad i believe it was he told me actually that the other day they were in a rush they basically just chucked down their boots and their gear and their clothing and they left it there so that made for uh, an opportunity to take this picture which I actually like this just shows like a place where there's work being done yeah I like the textures like the colors so nice picture the other one is we call it I think a Reiche I'm starting to even doubt my uh, my Dutch names now but um yeah on the on the other side we have this bird which is sitting on the railing of the boat and then there's some gear in front of there as well which is obviously being used for fishing me and Bart we both took pictures uh, of this bird but obviously only one of us selected it as to be good enough for our 10 pictures both very different pictures let us know which one you like best okay so selection number eight both pictures of people on the one side you have this couple enjoying their beer on their boat with some snacks as well and she's doing some some gardening i guess or some trimming of the uh, plants that she has and on the other side we have a lady on the scootmobile who's cruising around the uh, the docks i guess with her little dog in the front also a nice moment i think both were very nice moments um, it's nice to see people just being about and enjoying the day and even though we were expecting rain it was a lovely day so uh, we were fortunate to have some people around to make pictures of so um let us know which one you liked best Number nine, I like these pictures a lot. Um, on the, the left hand side this time you see this orca which is a monument and every once in a while it splurts some water in the air. And on the left hand side you have this kid on his wooden shoes running around which is a brilliant moment I think. It was a nice capture this one. On the other side we have a more of a landscape kind of picture where there's just the boats in the harbor waiting for the next day to start working I guess which would be generally I guess on a Monday. Um, very different pictures I think although they both capture the environment obviously. Yeah, I'm curious to see which ones you like best out of these. Moving on to set number 10. One of them you see these plants they're hanging I think off of a lamppost and in the background you see this Heineken logo which is a very recognizable logo. On the other side again somewhat more of a landscape picture with the cyclists enjoying their day in the bottom left hand side of the photo and then you have a lot of windmills in the back and just people walking enjoying their day. So this one more capturing the environment that we're in I guess. Very different pictures but once again which one do you like better? Now as a bonus picture we took photos of each other and, and those are going to be compared now so uh, on the on the right hand side you'll see me being captured in a fish net which um, made Bart take a picture and he actually sent it in to uh, to compare to my picture so I decided to take one of his pictures as well which is this one um, Bart is obviously focused on taking a picture somewhere else and I decided to frame him with the reflection in the window um, yeah I thought it was uh, was a nice moment for Bart obviously enjoying the photography uh, hobby for one of the first times in his life I think and this is a nice picture to maybe capture that so um, yeah those are all the pictures that we took now let's reveal who actually made which picture I'm gonna just show them side by side with the uh, with the name underneath it and I'm curious to see if you could guess whether it was me taking that picture or if it was Bart taking the picture and I'm also curious to see if you chose to uh, vote for Bart's picture or my picture mm -hmm. 
the pictures and those were uh, the pictures with the names as well so you know who took which picture did you get all of them right um, who ended up winning the competition in the end was it me or Bart I think he has a very very good shot for this one um, yeah let me know if you like this kind of challenge as well and I will make sure to make uh, this kind of video as well in the future this is it for today I will see you next week bye bye